Hello everyone, I'm Nicholas with LiveX, and today I'm here to bring you another unboxing video. Now today with me I have the Blackmagic Studio Converter. Now the really nice thing about this is that it works and connects with the Blackmagic Studio Camera 4K Pro. So basically then all you need to do is connect an ethernet cable from this little box to the uh, camera itself. It's really nice so you don't have to do really long fiber runs, you don't have to do long SDI runs, you literally just connect the ethernet, make your run, and then you have a lot of stuff that you can uh, do with it. So I'm gonna flip it over, we're gonna look at the back, and here you see we have the AC power, we have TalkBack, which this works with ClearCom and RTS, so that's really nice, with our facility that utilizes ClearCom. Um, you have your ethernet for control, all that fun stuff, reference in, reference out, time code in, time code out, kind of all of that standard stuff. Uh, you have a tally in here, which is nice. You have your monitor out, and then you have two actual BNC connectors for a camera out. So that supports 12G SDI, and so that's really good with that. And then you also have two return uh, BNC connectors. You have one return that actually goes to the camera's LCD monitor, and then you have the second return that actually goes to the camera's HDMI output. So then you could connect that to say a teleprompter. And so you, again, with this, you don't have to make all of these individual camera runs. You just connect it and make the run. And then the really also cool thing is that you just connect it with ethernet here and it just connects to the camera. And that also is PoE. So it's literally just the one cable that you need to run to the camera and it literally does everything. It's super nice. So enough of me talking about it. Let's actually open up and kind of see all that I just mentioned. <laughs> so it's black magic. It's all nice solid boxes, all nice and tight. We got the foam, if I can get this out of here. And it's upside down, you know, get your free DaVinci Resolve 17 download. Um, Maybe, maybe maybe some other time, not today. Um, you get the stickers, the cool, of course, Black Magic stickers. Uh, I don't care about that. And then the Welcome to Black Magic that they no longer use SD cards for all their uh, stuff. So we're just gonna set that off to the side and actually flip it back over the way it's supposed to be. All right. And we'll take the foam off. Here, nestled nice and in, can't be disrupted. This actually isn't, I feel like it's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Like, it's not bad. It's not like it's really heavy, but like, you know, I can't like toss it like I would a Frisbee. I have to put some effort into like moving this. You see how we have cam. I can look at the menu. You can see return one and return two. You have the call for, I believe the talk back for the RTS there. Um, looks like you can monitor this as well. You can press this button and that lets you monitor with this here. So that's really cool. I believe you just take this off. Yep, looks like that uses USB-C in there. And if we take a look at the back, here we have the power, there's the talk back, there's control, which is just your ethernet connection. Then yeah, reference in, reference out, time code in, time code out. That's really nice, um, especially that they just have time code as BNC, because I mean, normally with HyperDex and the ATEM, the ATEM 2ME, um, they have, it's XLR for time code in, but I know that I believe the newer HyperDeck Minis have a BNC in for time code, which is really nice So because you can actually use time code then, which is super good. Um, and then yeah, monitor out your tally audio in, then your camera outs, and then your turn one and your turn two. And then yeah, you have uh, PoE++, so you have 90 watt. That is, this is where you would connect to the camera. So then you have to run nothing else for the camera. Um, it's also not too big. It looks like we have little uh, screw holes here in the bottom so we can mount it. That's really nice. Um, yeah, it looks like there's nothing not on top. There wouldn't be any on top. But yeah, so you can actually mount this and so it doesn't shake all around. So that's it for the Blackmagic Studio Converter. Um, hopefully you guys learned a little bit with us looking at this piece of hardware. It's really cool. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And then make sure also to click that bell notification to stay updated with all of our new posts. So thank you for watching, everyone, and have a good day.